Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool Popeye telephone. This is Ryan's equipment from Indiana and this is the initial checkout of this telephone and these are highly collectible they're pretty rare and it's really cool to have one in the shop and we're going to go ahead and go through a little bit about what's gonna go on with this unit now this telephone is a working telephone now Ryan has AT&T U-verse and this telephone is not going to dial out on his system I think he also has a problem with his box, his telephone internet modem box, and he's going to have to resolve that issue. But this telephone does work, and the problem is, is it dials out in the rotary pulse signal. And even though the keypad looks like a touch tone keypad, it is not. When you hit those keys, it's going to dial out in the pulse signal, and so it's not going to dial out with AT&T U-verse. So what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade this telephone to a touch tone telephone and we're going to have to change the main PC board that you see here. We're going to show you everything but we want to go ahead and plug this unit in and I'll show you what I'm talking about. If you look at the analyzer Go ahead and take the handset off of the telephone. We're going to go ahead and dial our numbers. Now, if you, I'm going to go ahead and dial an 8. If you watch the analyzer, you're going to see how long it takes to dial the 8. And it counts it out. I'm going to dial a 6. Go back to an 8. And so it's dialing out in the pulse rotary signal. I'm going to dial a zero and then a two. We want to give you a look at the handset since this is the initial checkout of this telephone. It's a very cool Popeye telephone. Then we have our handset cord, our base plate, and then of course Popeye. Now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and show you the main PC board and we're going to talk about that a little because we're going to be changing that and not only that this unit has a piezo buzzer so we're going to be going to a small bell so we're actually going to install a bell also instead of have the piezo buzzer sound the electronic noise that you would hear with an electronic type telephone. So we want to go ahead and show you the main PC board. Okay now this gives you a look at the main PC board and we have a IC that's on that main PC board and it's an LR40992 and that's a pulse dialer and it's a CMOS IC. So this telephone only dials out in the pulse rotary signal. And then we have our keypad. And so what we need to do is we need to change PC boards because we want to dial out in the touch tone mode. And then we also need to install a bell, a small bell in this area somewhere. And we'll go ahead and get that work started also and we have our piezo buzzer here which is original to the unit but it would sound much better with a bell than a piezo buzzer because the piezo buzzer is the electronic type ringing that you would associate with some telephones and most all newer style telephones have the piezo buzzer electronic noise on a ring cycle so we're going to be changing that and we want to go ahead and disconnect this board and we're going to have to redesign a situation so we can use 
the white numbers on the keypad so we want to keep that part original looking now not only on this keypad do we have to worry about our numbers but on this particular keypad the traces that are on the back of this PC board for the keypad your star button and your pound button is actually redial so if you were to dial a number here and try to hit the pound or the star it will not dial out because in the pulse rotary signal on a pulse dialing IC chip you do not have the star in the pound and they're always used for redial or flash and since this unit does not have the flash mode it has redial two times so that all has to be reconfigured or we'll have to design something out so that we can get our star and our pound button when we install a different type PC board which will be touch tone so we have a lot of work that we need to do and we're going to get a start on this conversion we'll come back and get some more video as we move forward and the repair and conversion of this really cool Popeye telephone. Okay, we're back now, and we're in the middle of the process of repairing and converting this really cool Popeye telephone, and we're gonna show a little bit about what's going on. Now, earlier, we removed our main PC board, our keypad, and we've also removed our piezo buzzer, and I wanna give you a look at what this looks like. And so that's been removed. Also, our board for our hook switch. Now, on this PC board that we have here, the circuit is for the piezo buzzer. It controls the ring cycle to the piezo buzzer. And our switches are already mounted on this board. So what we're going to do is utilize the switches on this PC board because of the connection that we have where you mount the board everything is already set up for these two switches so we're going to go ahead and utilize that situation and tie our main pc board which is going to be the new board for touch tone dialing and we'll put all that together and utilize the original pc board with our switches so we have a lot of work that we need to do we're gonna go ahead and take a short break we'll come back as we move forward in the repair and conversion of this really cool Popeye telephone we'll be right back okay we're back now and we are finished up with the repair and conversion of this really cool Popeye telephone and we want to start our final checkout but we're gonna run through a little bit about what went on with this unit now our handset cord the plugs were recrimped the modular ports and the modular line port were cleaned we also troubleshooted the handset that was all taken care of the main PC board was removed in the keypad PC board because this only dials out in the rotary pulse signal and it's of no use to us. We installed a main PC board that is touch tone. So this telephone dials out in the touch tone mode. It was rewired the way we wanted it wired to work the way we want it to work. We also configured the hook switch into the situation. So we utilized the original hook switch and PC board. We also had to reconfigure the keypad because the original use of this keypad was the star and pound button were for redial, so that was taken care of. We also installed a real bell in this unit, and we're going to give you a still picture of what this unit looked like on the inside after we finished our repair and conversion.
We also want to mention our amplified pickup. We use this in troubleshooting, repairing, and on our final checkouts. It's amplified so that you can hear the audio from a receiver. And so now what we can do is we can use the analyzer and we'll send a ring cycle. So we'll start that. We'll let that go a few times. I'll let it go one more time and we'll give you some dial tone. We can walk through our numbers. If you watch the analyzer, you'll watch the numbers roll by and you can see how quickly they respond to the analyzer because they're actually dialing out in touch tone now. And I'm going to end in a two. Now I want to transmit into the handset. If you watch that red light on the analyzer, every time you see that red light light up, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. <whistles> hello, hello. So now that we know that this unit is ringing in on a ring cycle, it's dialing out. We have transmit and receive. I can push this button on the switch box. That gives us a line out, totally takes the analyzer out of the situation, and we'll call a time and temp number. So we'll go ahead and give you some dial tone. And we'll make that call. Good evening. Today is Thursday, August 18th. The time is 10.03. Current temperature 79 degrees. Partly cloudy today with highs in the upper 80s. Partly cloudy this evening, lows around 70. Partly sunny Friday. Showers and thunderstorms highs in the mid 80s. We can hang the unit up. Now we can give you some dial tone. We'll call my number and it'll be busy. Hang our unit up. Now that we know that this really cool, highly collectible, pretty rare telephone Popeye has been repaired and converted we can return him to Ryan and he can enjoy this telephone. I don't believe he's ever really been able to use it. And I'm sure Popeye is going to look great no matter where he uses this telephone. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.